Hi, my name's Hugh Brown. I'm a documentary photographer based in Perth in Western Australia and I work in some of the more remote and extreme places around the world and probably no more or perhaps few more extreme places than here in um, Yakutsk in northeastern Siberia. I was in this same park back in um, January of this year and it was just below minus 40 and there, for a period I thought I might lose some fingers and toes to frostbite, it was that cold. Um, I've returned here in the middle of summer, as you do, and today the temperatures um, exceeded 30 degrees. So I've gone from um, a low recording of about minus 53 when I was here back in January to over 32 degrees or 32 degrees here today. So that's an 85 degree temperature variance, which is just staggering really. Um, when I'm on the road, I use or like to use a um, environmental data logger just to you know, record some of these extremes because back home I'm usually working in extremes of heat and the Pilbara gets up to sort of 47, 48, 49 degrees commonly during summer or you know, every year. Um, and then when I come to these colder places, I also like to see what the extremes of cold come up with and as I said when I was when I was back here in, in summer in Yakutsk it got down to minus 53 but when I went further north it got as low as minus 58 degrees which was out there. This one's made by Kestrel um, it's a drop 3 device um, as you can see it's slightly larger than a um, trying to get into the light so you can see it properly it's um, not much bigger than a, a large large coin um, this basically Bluetooth syncs to the phone and there's about six or seven parameters that records. The ones that are probably most interesting to me as a photographer and when I'm doing my survival stuff are the humidity, dew point, um, temperature, heat index and barometric pressure readings but there's a number of other readings, I just can't remember what they what they are at the moment. Um, you can sync this so that it, um, the data logger um, records these um, parameters um, as regularly as every two seconds through to every 12 hours. <laughs> when you're recording at a rate of every two seconds, the battery life on these things is about um, six months. And I've tested um, the device, um, obviously in extreme heat and extreme cold. In, in extreme cold, um, the thing that limits the performance of the device is the battery more than the device itself. And uh, when you, if, if you use it properly in the extreme cold, I've actually recorded this, um, had temperature recordings on this device at minus um, 53 degrees. Um, the application on these devices is enormous. They're really robust, um, waterproof to a depth of, I think, about a metre. Um, but, uh, you know, it can be used potentially in agriculture, recording, you know, conditions in orchards, inside containers for the transportation industry, medical and pharmaceutical. You know, I'm a photographer, I use in what I do, and um, these devices are used um, widely in the, in the hunting and gaming industry. So, yeah, an amazing device. I, I can't rave about it enough. It's literally for me, it's set it up, forget it, and when, whenever you want to know what the, the weather is and or has been in a certain period, you just um, log in via the um, phone's Bluetooth. Just amazing.